We're looking at the Ryobi One Plus HP. It's a 16 inch, 18 volt electric mower. And some of you have been writing in saying, hey, it only runs 10 minutes. You said it would run longer. So I'm gonna throw in a fresh battery and we're gonna run a clock on this and see actually how long it runs. I got two recently charged battery packs. They're both at 100%. We'll grab this one. The new mower only accepts one pack at a time. The previous version would allow you to actually put two units in. Along with the battery, we're gonna need the starter key safety plug. Otherwise, the unit will not energize. Installing the key, simply lift the top cover, take your battery, turn it upside down, drop it into the hole, snap it in, that's locked, and then we have to put our little key which fits in this way or this way, and now we're ready to mow. Neighbors are out mowing their lawn. I don't have that much to mow, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway just so you can see how long this unit runs. Things that can affect the running time on batteries would include temperature, too hot, too cool, will definitely cut down on the amount of time that the unit will run. Also, what you're cutting. If you have a lot of tall grass, then that's gonna tax the motor more than, than if you had short grass. Another factor is just the simple age of the battery. A newer battery will run longer than an older one. We're gonna start the mower and run a clock on it and see how long it lasts. Did you notice how the motor revved up and then throttled back on its own and now it's just at a steady level? It'll continue that level until the circuitry in the battery says enough and it'll shut itself down because uh, the lithium ions don't deplete themselves down to, to zero like a NICAD would or some of the older batteries. But instead they have a safety mechanism that will just stop providing power. So pretty much you'll have full power from the battery until it gets to the end, then it just shuts off. I do think that companies like Ryobi and the other ones that have battery powered devices do themselves a, a disfavor by saying, you know, up to 40 minutes per charge, cutting 80 logs, on a full charge. And what they're actually saying is that it's up to under these conditions. Some of them are even laboratory conditions, which come on guys, put the mower or the cutting tool out in real world conditions and give us the real numbers. So you could say something like, this battery will get you from 20 to 40 minutes, depending on what you're cutting. Because when we read up to 40 minutes per charge, the number that sticks in our mind is 40 minutes and anything less than that, then people get upset. And in this case, we have two batteries. So it's not perfectly clear that it's 40 minutes total with the two batteries, not 40 minutes per battery. Again, it just leads to confusion with the consumer and they're the ones that get upset and then they badmouth your product. It'd be better if they said, hey, with these two batteries, you'll get 20 to 40 minutes of mower time. And let people know that, particularly with this mower, it's designed for a quarter acre or less. And that should be right on the box. You shouldn't go thinking that, wow, I can get this cute small little mower and I can do my big, huge yard with it because it's so cheap and I can get into this battery thing and not buy gas and oil. No, this is a small mower for a small lawn. And they should make that perfectly clear. So people, once again, aren't disappointed. I think if you're cutting less than a quarter acre with this mower, the two batteries fully charged, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Unless you let the grass grow really tall, and then that's an issue because it wasn't designed for that. It's designed for just cutting the grass on a regular basis and not letting it grow tall. If you're the kind of person that ignores your lawn and does it like you know once a month or every other week, then you either want a more powerful electric mower or maybe you just want to stick with gas. Because with gas, you know, if it bogs down and it just burns up a lot of gas, you just pour more into it and you keep on going. With this, 
Once you deplete the two batteries, then you have to wait for them to charge up unless you have a fast charger or unless you're in their eco power tool system and you can just borrow batteries from the other devices and use them on this mower. Looking at our timer, we see that we're in excess of 12 minutes and it's still running. So we definitely can get more than 10 minutes per charge. Let's see what happens. And it's finally conked out. And we're looking at just under 19 minutes for one full battery to run. So you're looking at, and that's with no load on it. It's just sitting there free spinning. Here's the depleted battery. And it gives you a flashing green, which means it's, it's out of juice. Put that back on the charger. Grab the other fully charged battery and we're going to throw that on there because we want to be a bit scientific about this. One battery doesn't prove anything. We go to drop in the new battery. We're going to start our clock. And by the way, this is the OEM battery that came with the mower. It's 18 volts, lithium ion, four amp hours, 72 watt hours of power. And it winds down 21 almost 21 minutes of runtime. So the question you might be asking is, is this even worth getting? I mean, yeah, it's cute and it's small and it doesn't use gas or oil, so you get that savings, but you're only getting 20 minutes or less per battery of runtime. Well, what was this intended for? It was intended for very small lawns. So if you have a small yard, 20 minutes, two of these back to back gives you about 40 minutes. Maybe that's all you need. In which case, this is an ideally suited device for you because there's the saving of not using any fuel, any oil. There's no mixing of that. As a matter of fact, it's totally maintenance free other than maybe in about three years or maybe even longer. When this lithium battery starts to wear out, you'll have to replace it. But in the meantime, you have a mower that is very light, can be easily stored anywhere, including indoors, because there's no fuel, no fumes. It starts every time instantaneously. So if you find the convenience of those things appealing to you, and you can live with a 20 minute battery runtime or a total of just under 40 minutes mowing, then this could be the mower for you. If you found this interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.